Hi, hey, this is Doc Mountain, and welcome to my channel. In our video of today, <clears throat> I'm going to walk you through the steps that you have to take for you to solve a number of problems that have to do with subject, change of the subject of the formula. So I'm going to solve a number of questions from different years, starting from 2021, going back as far as 2009. I need you to watch the video from the beginning to the end. Let's take a ride. So this 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 question came in 2013, math paper 2, grade 9. The saying given that px minus q over w is equal to y. Make x subject to the formula. So what you do is, first of all, start with the equation. Okay. So now what I want you to do is to make this x subject to the formula. In other words, I want you to set, to set it apart so that it happens to be independent. It has to be within the same side. Okay, so now what you do is, first of all, you introduce a one there, then you cross multiply so as to get rid of the fractions. So one times that, that will give us Px minus Q, which is equal to Wy gives us Wy. Okay, so what is the next step? The next step is, you get rid of this one since you want to remain with x so you leave that term which has x so now for you to get rid of this one you have to bring in the additive inverse of q now what you do this side is what you do on the other side so you may have a question like what's an additive in inverse so an additive inverse is actually the number which if added to that other number the answer will actually give you a zero. So if we have negative one, the additive inverse of negative one is positive one. Because when you add these two, the answer will be a zero. So now that's what we're doing. So this negative Q plus Q will give you a zero. So this side will remain with PX, which equates to WY plus Q. <coughs> So now that we, 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 we've come this far, the next thing is to get rid of a P. So how do you get rid of a P? Let me write that up here. Okay, so for you to get rid of this, you need to multiply both sides of the equation by what, by what we call the additive inverse of P. So the additive, oh, the multiplicative inverse rather. So the multiplicative inverse is the number which if multiplied by the another, another number, the product will be a 1. So if we have a 2, the multiplicative inverse of a 2 is 1 over 2. So that when you multiply this, 2 times 1, that will be a 2. And 1 times 2, that's a 2. 2 into 2, the answer is 1. So equally here, the multiplicative inverse of P is 1 over P. So what you do this side is what you do even on the other side of the equation. So here, this P and that P will cancel and we will remain with X, which will equate to one times everything on top. We are going to have everything on top. WY plus Q over, can introduce someone here, one times P that gives you a P. So we have made X subject of the formula. Let's solve on. Let's look at another example here. Okay, so now this is a 2014 math paper two. And what are they saying? They're saying given that PQ is equal to four plus two QT, make Q the subject of the formula. So I will write the very equation that we have, PQ, which is equal to 
4 plus 2QT. Now what you do here, what you do is, what you do is, you have to find a way in which you can get rid of a Q. So now you check, this one is a term with a Q, that one has a Q as well. So you're going to move this term with Q that side. So how do you do that? You have to bring in the additive inverse. So now let's check if you've been getting things. What will be the additive inverse of this? So the additive inverse will be negative 2QT. Remember, an additive inverse is actually the number which if added to another number, the answer will be a zero. So the core essence of doing that is to ensure that we eliminate this term this side. So now what you do on one side is what you do on the other side as well. So what are we going to end up with? So this one and that one will give us a zero. So we are going to end up with a four. And then this side, you're going to have PQ minus two QT. Okay, so now from here, what we're going to do is this. We, 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 we now have two terms. Since we now have two terms, which have the same element, which is Q, we will need to factor out the common element here, which is Q. So Q is here, Q is here. So we pull it out, we write it on the outside of the brackets, then we write the braces, which is equal to four. Now, I want you to listen and listen good. When you factor out, you pull out the common constant. What you're going to do is you're going to divide it into the terms that you have there. So Q into that. So if we have PQ and a Q there, we are dividing a Q there. So this Q and that Q will cancel. We are going to remain with a P. Minus, equally, if we have 2QT, we divide the Q in there. Q there and Q there will cancel. So we are going to remain with 2 T. Okay, so now our goal is to ensure that we have Q on one side. Okay, it has to remain independent. So we need to get rid of this by multiplying both sides of the equation by the multiplicative inverse of P minus 2T. So in other words, we simply divide both sides of the equation by P minus 2T. Even this side, P minus 2T. Okay, so this one and that one will cancel, and we're going to remain with a Q, which shall equate to, so now we are going to have 4 over P minus 2T. And we're done. We are done. So we are progressing through this um, walkthrough tutorial. And be, if, if you haven't yet subscribed, I urge you to do so. If you haven't yet followed me, I urge you to do so. And then turn on the notification bell so that any time I happen to go live, you happen to be notified. Because I'm going to roll out a couple of videos which are past paper based. Okay, so now this is 2015. Let's say given that PQ is equal to 4 plus 2QT, make Q subject of... The formula is in this one the same as the one which is from solving pq is equal to four plus two qt uh, this one is the same i think let's move on to the next one so we have 2016 2018 2018 so let's solve this one uh, you can pause the video and give it a shot to see if you're able to solve this one so when you try it out you come back and then watch how I'm going to solve this one. So we have X, and let's say make W subject to the formula. So first and foremost, we have to make sure that we, we write the equation the way it is. X is equal to W plus 3 over 2 minus W. So here, first of all, get rid of the fractions by introducing one on the other side of the equation as the denominator then you cross multiply 
So now one times this, it will give us W plus three. Then this W here will be multiplied by, uh, that is two minus W, this one here, will be multiplied by the X here. Okay, so we're gonna have X multiplied by two minus W. W. Okay, so now we expand the brackets by multiplying this. So we're gonna have X times two, that will be two X. Then minus X times W, we're going to have W X, which is equal to W plus three. Okay, so uh, how do we soldier on to the end till we finish solving this problem? So you need to make sure that you move one term to the other side where there is another term which has W. So let's do that. So how do we do this? We need to move this three to the left side of the equation. And then we have to move WX to the other side of the equation. So what we do is we bring in an additive inverse of Wx. And when we do that, we have to do the same here. We, so that's plus W. <coughs> okay, so that's Wx. Hope you're able to see that. Okay, so let's do this. So when we, we add this, this will give us a zero. And we're going to remain with 2x, which we equate to w plus wx plus 3. So we need to get rid of the 3, this side, so that we just remain with those terms that have w. So you have to bring in the additive inverse of positive 3, that's negative 3. Even this side, you do the same. So these will give us a 0. We're going to have 2x minus 3, which is equal to W plus Wx. So now what do you do next here? What you do is you factor out. Since we now have two terms which have W, factor out the common element. So W is common, then divide it into W, it will give us a 1. Then plus, when you divide W into Wx, the W and the W will cancel, and we are going to remain with X. This side, things will just remain the way they are, minus 3. Okay, so now what do we do next? So now we have to multiply both sides of the equation by the multiplicative inverse of 1 plus X. So we can as well say we divide both sides of the equation by 1 plus X, so that we remain with W here. So let me write this up here. That is 2x minus 3 is equal to w1 plus x. So we, we divide both sides by 1 plus x. Even this side, 1 plus x. So this 1 plus x and that 1 plus x on top will cancel. And we're going to have 2x minus 3 over 1 plus x, which is equal to w. But here, you don't need to get confused. Like, now, how do I switch so that w happens to be on, on the left-hand side and these other terms happen to be on the right side? This is as good as writing them like this. w is equal to 2x. Minus 3 over 1 plus x. That's uh, so how we are done. Let's, let's, let's attempt the second one, which is 2018. So with 2018, it's given that x is equal to a plus r over 1 minus r. Make r subject to the formula. So it's almost the same. We do what we just did. So a plus r over 1 minus r. Then this side we have x. So what you do is introduce a 1, then cross multiply so as to get rid of 
to get rid of the fractions. So x should be multiplied by the denominator this side. So we're going to have x times 1, that is x. Then x times minus r, that to be x r, which shall equal to 1 times a. 1 times a gives us a. Then 1 times r gives us r. So our interest is to make sure that we make r a subject to the formula. So we can get rid of this one by bringing in its additive inverse, xr. And what we do this side is what we do even on the other side of the cell, of the equation. We add xr. So when we add these two, since we, they have two different signs, the answer will be zero. So we will remain with x, which is equal to a plus r plus x r. So now we want we all we only want those terms with the the x element to remain this side. So we have to subtract a. Even on the other side of the equation, we have to subtract a. So here we will have x minus a, which is equal to these when you execute them, they'll give you a zero. A minus a, that's a zero. So we remain with r plus x, r. So now when we reach this stage, what you have to do is you simply factor out the common element. So r is common. So r into r, that's one plus. Then when you divide r into x, r, R and R O can so on will remain with X. So this side we will still have the same elements. That is X minus A. So now we can get rid of what's on the inside of the bracket so that we remain with R. So that will be one plus X. Even on the other side, that will be one plus X. So this one and that one, that is X, one plus X into 1 plus x, that's 1. And then you divide it into that one, that gives you 1. 1 into 1, 1 times r, that's r. So now the final answer is x minus a over 1 plus x, which is equal to r. So now this one is as good as writing it as r is equal to x minus a over one plus x and we are done let's move on to the last problem here that is 2018 i think this was written by the external guys so let's give it a shot so we have uh, p which equates to eight plus six over q and they're saying make Q subject to the formula. So now what you have to do is you get rid of 8. So now since there's an, an operation of plus here, what you do is you bring in the additive inverse, which is negative 8. Now when you subtract negative 8, you have to subtract negative 8 on the other side as well. So that would be P minus 8, which is equal to 6 over q, 6 over q. So now when you reach this point, the question may be, how do you forge your head now from here? So introduce your one and get rid of the fraction. So p will be multiplied by everything there, and then one will be multiplied by that. So what we're going to have is q being multiplied by p minus 8. So braces mean you're multiplying. Then we have 1 times 6. So this one will give us a 6. Then here, let's just write them the way they are. Instead of expanding the brackets, we leave them the way they are. And then, since our interest is, uh, this one looks like 9. Okay, so our interest is to leave Q here independent. So we're going to divide both sides by P minus 8 p 
minus 8. So this one, and that one give us a 1. P minus 8 into P minus 8, that's 1. And then divide it into P minus 8, that's a 1. 1 into 1, 1 times Q. The answer is Q. And then we're going to have 6 over P minus 8. So that's how we solve that. If you haven't yet subscribed, I urge you to subscribe and make sure that uh, you turn on the notification bell. Let's move on. We still have some more questions to deal with so that you happen to be enculturated and you reach a point where you can solve problems on your own. Let's soldier on. So this is now 2019. And we also have 2021 and 2009. So 2019 is saying, given that S is equal to A plus R, make R a subject to the formula. So this one was the simplest of all. A plus R. So what you do is you get rid of A. Say minus A minus A. Okay, so these will give you a zero when you execute them. So we are going to remain with R, and then this will be S minus A. Okay, so this one is as good as, I say therefore, R is equal to S minus A. So we've made R a subject to the formula. Let's give it a shot and see if we can work out 2021. So 2021, equally we introduce a one here. Then we cross multiply. Because I make n subject to the formula. So there's nothing you can do here. You simply cross multiply so that you get rid of the fractions. So m times n, that will be mn. Then m times negative 5, that will be negative 5m, which is equal to 1 times 4n, that will give us 4n. So now you see that we have uh, we have okay we have uh, negative five m we also have m n so there, there's n here and there's n here so we can move this one to the other side of the equation so we're gonna bring in its additive inverse which is negative m n even this side minus m n so here. When we execute this, they'll give us a zero and they'll leave us with minus five m, which shall equate to four n minus m n. Okay, so here the next step will be now you factorizing this. Which one is common here? What is common is n. So factor it out. We write n there and divide it into the terms that you have there. So n into four n. You will you'll be uh, left with 4. Then minus n into mn, n into n, that will be 1. So you remain with m. And then this side will still have negative 5m. What's the next step? Our goal is to make sure that n is made subject to the formula. So we divide both sides by what's on the inside of the brackets. That's 4 minus m. Even this side. 4 minus m. So this one into that, that would be 1, 1. Okay, so we'll remain with n on the right side. Then this side we have negative 5m over 4 minus m. So if negative 5m over 4 minus m equates to n, then n equates to this. So we're going to write, therefore, when n is made subject to the formula, it will equal to negative 5m over 4 minus m. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Let's move on to 2009. 2009. We are doing the countdown here. So here, the saying makes it subject to the formula. So you see that these questions are almost the same. They keep on just changing the later. So once you get to master how to work out these, they become second nature. 
uh, you never fail to answer any question on subject to the formula. I saw you cross multiply and produce the one there, and uh, cross multiply so as to get rid of the fractions. So it will be D times C, which will be, uh, let me write this just in case you are unseeing things. So D will be multiplied by the denominator here. C minus 2, which is equal to 1 times C, and that will be C. So you can expand these brackets, D times C, that to be CD, minus D times 2, that to be 2D, which is equal to C. Since our goal is to ensure that we, we get rid of anything that is connected to C, so that C is made subject to the formula, so we can actually... We can bring this one this side and bring that one that side, but I'd rather you bring in the additive inverse of CD this side. CD, okay, CD, even this side minus CD. So this one will give us a zero and we're going to remain with negative 2d which is equal to c minus cd when you reach this point i'm pretty sure now things are becoming part of your blood and you're beginning to see how you have to work out so factor out c here so you're gonna have negative 2d which is equal to when you factorize the common element here you're gonna have c on the outside and C into C, that's a 1, minus C into C, D, that would give us a D. Right. So now here, the next step is you get rid of 1 minus D by dividing it both sides of the equation. Minus D, even this side, 1 minus D. This 1 minus D and that 1 minus D will give us a 1 when divided. So 1 into 1, 1 times C, that gives us C, which is equal to negative 2d over 1 minus d. So you can say, therefore, therefore, c is equal to negative 2d over 1 minus d. And you have the three marks in your pocket. Let's try out the last one. So anything without... Uh, fractions is actually pretty simple. So I'm saying make, given that mq is equal to 4m plus 3r, make m subject to the formula. So I'm going to write this. That's mq is equal to 4m plus 3r. So since the, the one is to make m subject to the formula, we simply check this first term has m, this term on the other side of the equation has m. So we have to move this one that side. So how do we do that? We consider the sign it's carrying as positive. So here, let's say minus 4m. Even this side, we subtract 4m. So this would give us a 0, and we're going to remain with 3r. And this side, we're going to have m cubed minus 4m. When you reach this point, you simply check. Do these two terms remaining on the left side have uh, m? Yes, both of them have m. So factor out m. So m will be written on the outside of the brackets. And we're going to have q minus 4. That is if you divide them in, in both of these terms. We're going to have that which shall equate to 3R. So now, how do you say it apart M? You simply divide both sides by Q minus 4. Then this side, Q minus 4. So now you can cancel these two so that you have M left independent. And then we're going to have 3R over Q minus 4. And well, we are done. So that's how you work out problems that have to do with uh, subject to the formula. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share and turn on the notification bell.
Kebelas.